Welcome. Let's explore one of the most famous problems from probability theory. In fact, uh, maybe it's the most infamous problem. It's called the Monty Hall problem. It's based on a game show from a few decades ago called Let's Make a Deal, and the game show host was Monty Hall, hence the name. And Monty would every now and then, wouldn't do this every episode, but it asked a contestant to come on stage and present before her three closed doors. And uh, he then asked the contestant to come up and choose a door, because behind one of the doors, the contestant is told, is a fabulous prize. Maybe it's $10 million cash or a brand new car or, or something like that. And behind the other two doors is something useless. Maybe it's a pair of smelly socks. So the contestant would be invited to come up and choose a door. So she comes along and maybe puts a hand on doorknob number two. But before she opens it, Monty says, hang on, let me show you what's behind door number one. Maybe he chooses this door, but he reveals nonetheless behind one of the doors, in this case door number one, a pair of smelly socks. So he's told you the prize is not behind door number one. And he now gives you a choice. Would you like to stick with the choice, you've kept, the first choice you made, door number two? Or would you prefer to switch doors and open door number three instead? That is, would you like to stick with door number two, open it, or switch to door number three and open that one? Now the question is, here's the, here's the, prob here's the, qu the problem, is it better for the contestant to stick than to switch? Or is it better for the contestant to switch than to stick? Or does it not matter? Now most people argue, well, the prize is behind one of these doors and we just don't know which. Either it's behind door number two, door number three. As far as we can tell, it's a 50% chance either way. So sticking, switching, no difference. But most people are told, actually, there is a benefit to switching doors. In fact, most people say that the probability of winning by being a switcher is double than that of being a sticker. There's no guarantee you'd win, but the chances that you'll be a winner are greater as a switcher. And that seems very anti-intuitive. So let me explain the mathematics behind that. There's one key piece that should be stated very explicitly, that Monty knows beforehand where the prize lies. For example, he really did open a pair of smelly socks. He didn't by accident reveal the, where the, the car is, the big prize. That's key to the mathematics. All right, so let me give you the uh, quick and dirty reason why switching is better. And then we'll go through the de go through it carefully. So you've got your hand on a door knob right now. If this were the correct prize, would you rather be a switcher or a sticker? Well, you don't know it's the correct prize, but if it were the correct prize, you'd definitely want to be a sticker. If this were the incorrect prize, would you rather be a sticker or a switch a, a sticker or a switcher? Well, you want to be a switcher. If it's the incorrect prize, this is smelly socks, door number one. If you're on the incorrect prize. You want to be switched to the correct prize. So, which situation are you more likely to be in? Are you likely to be in the situation of having your hand on the correct door and want to be a sticker? Or are you more likely to be in the situation of having your hand on an incorrect door and want to be a switcher? Well, you want to be a switcher. You're more likely to have your hand on an incorrect door because there are two incorrect doors to begin with. All right, let's go through that a little more slowly, a little more, in a little more detail mathematically. So let me just redraw the whole diagram. Let's go through it. You know how the game is played. You're about to come on the show, and you can actually decide beforehand whether you're going to be a sticker or switcher. You don't have to decide on the moment. So maybe you're going to come to the show and say to yourself, all right, I'm a sticker. Let's analyze your chances of winning that knowing that you're going to stick no matter what. You are committed to the choices you make in life. Right, whoops, sorry about that. So you come along and put your hand on a door. Maybe you put your hand on door number one this time. Before you open it, Monty's going to reveal to you the location of some dirty socks. Maybe it is behind door number two, I'll show you. Here's a pair of dirty socks. Ooh, smelly. As a sticker, what are your chances of now winning? Well, you don't care what Monty does. You're sticking with door number one. He could have not shown you anything. You decided to stick with door number one. The only way you can win as a sticker is to choose the correct door initially. So start off by choosing the correct door. You don't care what Monty does next. You're sticking with it. You have to choose the correct door initially in order to win. And what are your chances of choosing the correct door initially? Well, there's only one out of three was correct. So as a sticker, the only way you can win the game is to choose the correct door initially. That is, you have a one in three chance of winning. All right, let's go through the analysis now as a switcher. What are your chances of winning if you're a switcher? Oops, just switch will do. Well, how do you win as a switcher? You know you've got your hand on a doorknob, and you know that Monty is going to reveal and in a pair of smelly socks. So the only way to win as a switcher is to have an incorrect door to begin with. You don't want the correct door under your hand because you'll switch away from it. So you'll need, you want an incorrect door under your hand. 
You, you'll be shown another incorrect door, and as a switcher, you'll be going to the other door, and the only option you'd have if, if you, everything's all working out to plan is that this will be the correct door, and you'll get the prize. So, the only way to win as a switcher is to choose an incorrect door initially, because then Monty will show you another incorrect door, and then you'll be moving over to the correct one. It's not guaranteed you'll choose an incorrect door right off the bat, but what are the chances of doing so? Well, since two were incorrect to begin with, you have a two out of three chance of choosing an incorrect door initially. So your chances of winning as a switcher are actually two-thirds, double the chances of winning as a sticker. Therefore, it is better to switch than to stick. Now, most people are very uncomfortable with this and don't believe it. And the way to really get a feel for this is to play the game. I'd like you to take three playing cards and find a friend. I'd like two of the playing cards to be black and one of the playing cards to be red. And I want you to play the role of Monty Hall. That is, I want you whoops, excuse me, to look at the three cards. What did I say? I said two were black and one were red. Black, black, red. Shuffle them. Look at where the red card is and place them face down in front of your friend, having full knowledge of the location of the red card. Now have your friend put her finger on one of the face down cards. And then before she turns it over, you say to her, stop, and I want you to reveal to her one of the black cards. And then ask her if she wants to stick or switch. As you play this game, you'll find as the role of game show contestant, you'll actually, every now and then, have no choice of what card to turn over. You have to think about what to reveal. So what I suggest you do is feel, get a feel for that. And uh, maybe take some, uh, ev uh, take some recordings of the results. Maybe have your, get your friend play as the switcher for a while. And count how many times out of you know, 30 games she wins as a switcher. And play it again with her being a sticker for a while. And count how many games out of 30 she wins as a sticker. And get a feel of what Monty is doing each time as you're playing this game. And then, then perhaps re-watch this video and see what's going on. But now there's a mystery. This is all predicated on the idea that Monty actually knows where the prize is. What if Monty Hall, by luck, happened to open a pair, a door with this pair of smelly socks behind it? He had no idea where the prize actually was and just happened to open that door. Then, under that situation, is it better to be a sticker or a switcher? All our previous analysis is out the window, so we have to rethink this one. Now I'm going to be a bit of a tease here. Rather than go through the mathematics of that, I'm actually going to direct you to this uh, particular textbook, which is on the website. Go have a look at Volume 8, Probability and Statistics. There I look at the Monty Hall problem in great detail and many variations. It's worth thinking your way through. But, um, you know, why stick at three doors, four doors, a hundred doors? Does Molly, Monty have knowledge of where the prize is or not? The mathematics changes each time. There's a lot behind this. It's a lot of fun. All right, thanks very much.